you know very, very strong political views. Yeah. And today is an important day, isn't it? Because it's National Voters Registration Day and you've got to encourage people. Yeah, I've done a few things for it. I've done a yeah. few tellies and a few radio, a few uh, radio and one or two in the newspaper. The kids have got to vote. Yes. If, if, if we want kids to go out and fight and get killed in wars and that at 17 mm -hmm. and 18, I think they deserve the chance to vote and have a say <laughs> in, 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 in about them say? wars. Ricky, what would you say to persuade young people they must vote, even if they don't agree with any of the political parties? Because I feel strongly because women died and fought to get the vote. Absolutely. And it upsets me so Emily much. Emily Pankhurst when... and them women have yeah. done an amazing job. But what I think they should have on the ballot paper is I think they should have a box for those who think there is nothing for them. I really, yeah. I, yeah, I, I I really I do think mm. that, you know, it's Lib Dem or Labour or whatever. Mm. Um, but what, what concerns me, and may, maybe I'm out of order saying this, is like Tony Blair son is standing in the next election. John Prescott's son is standing. Neil Kinnock's son is standing. Jack Straw's son is standing. It's like jobs for the boys, and I'm against that. Yeah. Okay. What I'm, what I'm in, in favour of is 50% men, 50% women, a right proportion of ethnic minorities, but I, I want a proportion of working-class MPs to be yeah. sitting in power. <laughs> <laughs> One of the problems is people like Russell Brand going on television saying it's not worth voting, don't vote. Mm -hmm. But the only way that you're going to change Anything. what MPs are like is if you vote and mm -hmm. vote more people mm -hmm. like you. Or, <laughs> or stand. You yeah. know, if you, do, if you don't like what's, what's on offer, perhaps put yourself forward. Well, I, I was going to stand a few years ago. I was going to stand in, uh, in uh, Wavertree in Liverpool. And, um, and what, what happened is I can talk about it now, because I couldn't at the time. <coughs> I have a lad who was damaged in, in Northern Ireland in, in the army, and he suffers from uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And when it was time to do all the business, we were all geared up for it, he went missing. And he was completely missing for three days. Oh. Oh. And I had, didn't know, and I thought, he comes before this, you know, he comes yeah. before me. Mm. And uh, anyway, when we found him, he'd been sectioned. Oh. He'd, he'd, he'd been, I mean, he's fine now, I mean, he's fine, but he'd been through hell and back. So, I mean, that, that, that comes before any of political... Course. I didn't have political aspirations. I just wanted to say that the person he parachuted into Liverpool shouldn't have been parachuted into Liverpool. Mm. They parachuted the guy into St Helens, who, who's, who'd been an ex-Tory, a fellow called Sean Woodward. He didn't know, he didn't know St Helens had a rugby team. Yeah. Just the, the most famous rugby team in the world. He didn't know they had one. Would you do it now, Ricky? Well, I'm too old now, kid, aren't I? I'm, I'm... Yeah, never too, too old. old. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean... I, I still, let, but, but what worries me is I, I watch Question Time religiously. I love it, mm. but I've never seen. Doesn't matter which party's in. I've never seen anyone answer a question. Yeah.